Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so I have a Sephora VIP sale haul for you guys today. If you know me at all, I, I do like a small order at first. And then I go to the store, I might buy something at the store, and then I like buy more online. It's super weird. I don't know why I do it like that. I don't know why I don't just do one big order. I think it's just a little daunting seeing how much it costs and I'm like, I don't wanna spend that much, but then I do. Anyways, like it's, it's super weird. But I have most of the items that I've ordered minus like two things that I ordered online that still haven't got here yet. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you guys can tell by my voice, I am still sick. I've said that in the past, like probably five videos already, but I am bulk filming because I've taken time off work to heal my sinuses and I've just been filming at home. I've been resting and filming, so. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys stuff that I got from the VIP sale. So let's go ahead and get right into it, you guys. Okay, so in the past, I used to buy a lot of makeup during these sales. I seriously would buy like palettes. I would buy, you know, skincare. I would just buy so many things during the Sephora VIP sales. And now I feel like I don't do that as much anymore. I also wait until the sale to actually buy things from Sephora. So I don't even know if I'm going to be getting to Rouge next year, but as of right now, I'm gonna enjoy my Rouge benefits for 2023 and enjoy the 20% off. So the first thing that I picked up is this palette. I haven't bought a palette in so long because I don't really wear a lot of makeup these days. I wear it when I film. Sometimes I wear it, you know, days off and stuff like that if I'm doing something fun if I'm going to the mountains if I'm going hiking and stuff obviously I'm not wearing eyeshadow so I don't feel the need to just keep buying palettes although this has been on my wish list for a while and it's it was also on sale from its original price of like $75 it was on sale for like 55 I believe and then it was a further 20% off so I decided you know what I'm just gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna buy it. So this is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. And I actually used this today because I didn't wanna have to do swatches and all of that for this item. So I am wearing it today. If you guys are wondering what's on my eyes, it's this and I absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and open it for you guys. It did come in the box, but of course I did use it. So I've taken it out of the box. And yeah, this is the beautiful palette right here. Like I said, this has been on my wish list for a while. It's very me at this point in my life. It's very neutral. It has a lot of rosy tones. I don't do too many crazy things with colors these days, even though that used to be me back in my 20s. I used to go crazy with like teals and purples and blues and stuff like that. Now I'm, this is me in a palette. I'm more neutral, I'm more grounded, I'm more like toned down but it's still pretty and interesting at the same time. So I did use the color Andy. It does have a color named Andy, that's so funny. I used the color Andy, I used the color Swing right here, I used Groove, and I used, oh, I just dug my finger into there, damn it. I also used Nude Mauve, which is right there. Ever since I've gotten nails, I've seriously dug my finger into so many eyeshadow palettes it's not even funny like I don't even know why but yeah that is the retro palette from Natasha Denona a bunch of her palettes are actually on sale also so yeah I love this one I don't understand the back because the back has a bunch of these holes in it I don't know if the actual eyeshadows on the inside are removable or anything like that but if anybody knows let me know I will be wearing this probably in my next few videos at least so that is the first item I picked up okay next up again this is something that was on sale I do 
I have had this on my wish list for a while also and I didn't really do too much research into it but it does have really good ingredients in here and it's also vegan organic and it just it seems like a really good product this is by Cora Organics look at how cute the packaging is you guys like it is adorable I love this color it's one of my favorite colors and this is created with love by Miranda Kerr who's an actress I believe I think I don't know but when I first saw this I was like I need to have it whatever it is I want it I saw this on Instagram for the first time it looks like this very 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 beautiful packaging on this one I love it like I said, I haven't done too much research on it. I just know that it is a nice lightweight moisturizer that has really good for you ingredients in here. Also, this packaging is actually reusable so you can buy the refills, which is nice. And honestly, did I need a new moisturizer? No, <laughs> I have like two full size ones right now. I have one that I'm using and then a Jeffree Star one that I bought in the last Jeffree Star sale that I haven't used yet, but I never want to run out of moisturizer, okay? There's a point in my life where I just, I don't want to run out of moisturizer. I need to pay like full price. So originally, I think that this is around $75. Again, on sale for 55 and then plus the 20% off. So I got a great deal on it. I know the packaging is just amazing. That's what drew me in. So I'm not even gonna lie to you about that. It was all about the packaging, however, I am really into skincare and I do care about what I put on my face. So this is a certified organic lightweight gel moisturizer. So I'm thinking that this might be the next one that I use. I think I'll save the Jeffree one till the winter time and then my summer moisturizer is likely going to be this. It has certified organic green tea, alpine rose, green algae, Swiss glacier water to keep your skin hydrated, smooth, and firm. It just sounds amazing and I just had to pick it up. Next thing I picked up, oh my gosh, you guys, I spent like over 200 on like three things and I'm not proud of that. I'm really not, but this was the biggest purchase in this haul. This came out back in March, so it didn't come out too long ago. The campaign photos, that's what honestly got to me. The campaign photos, reading the scent description of this, and I think it's just gonna be my perfect gourmand scent. I really, really hope it is gonna be that. I am going to try it right this moment in this video just to test it out for the first time because I have no idea what this smells like. Yes, I spent $183 minus 20% off on this perfume, and I have no idea what it smells like. I haven't tried it because I went to Sephora, the one by my house, and they're like, no, we don't have testers for that. I'm like, how do you not have testers for that? Like, excuse me? But I was like, I bought it anyways because it was on sale, and I was like, you know what? It's been sold out, actually. So when it launched, it sold out right away. There was just the little tiny size for like $30. I'm like, no. The 50 ml is $132 and then the 100 ml is $182. So, you know, no brainer, this size is the better value. So the back of this one, by the way, this is by Kayali. This is my first Kayali fragrance. This was the first one that really, really stood out to me. However, I've wanted to try Kayali for years. It's called Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 Intense. And if you guys know anything about me, I like my sweet scents. I like my, my gourmands. I like anything that's like, just smells like it's edible. I love the smell of pistachios. I love pistachio ice cream. Just, I am expecting a whole dessert in a bottle with this one. So it smells like pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy and you guys like i said i have a sinus infection right now out of one nostril so i'm still gonna be able to smell this hopefully and hopefully it doesn't like do too much more damage to my sinuses but if this doesn't work out for me if i don't like the scent because i haven't tried it before if i completely hate it i am returning it because $182 for fragrance that you don't like. Sounds like a big waste of money. Oh my gosh, the packaging 
it's just so pretty oh my gosh I just I love this mint color mint and lavender are my two favorite colors and that's why my walls are lavender let's hope for the best you guys this is a mag magnetic no it's not magnetic anyways I am gonna be doing a full review on this if you guys are wondering I am it's coming it's just I can't do it while I'm sick because I need to wear the fragrance for a bit I like to wear my fragrances for at least a week before I do a review on it just to get a good idea of how long it lasts what notes really stand out for me and my body chemistry and also you know just like how it functions in like my everyday life so I like to give it about a week also I like to not be sick so I can go through the notes and tell you guys how things actually smell because right now I feel like my sense of smell is going to be a little bit off as of right now I like it it's like desserty smells like dessert and powder like mixed together which I don't hate I'm a big fan of powdery fragrances I don't know why but I've always loved them and I know that some people kind of think that it kind of smells like an old grandmother type fragrance but I've always liked the smell of baby powder and just like powdery scents so my favorite scent one of my favorite scents is actually by Prada and it's the candy low and that one has like a powdery undertone and this is what it's giving me. It's giving me that mixed with like other things, like sweeter notes in there. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I do like it so far. Out of the first three items, that was like over $200, which is ridiculous. But anyways, I did get a few samples from their site also. So I do like getting the shampoo conditioner samples for traveling. I got the Amica Mirrorball High Shine Shampoo and Conditioner right here. I got the Nest Indigo fragrance. This is my favorite Nest fragrance ever. It just smells so good. I've gotten the sample size before and this is actually in my purse right now. If you use it quite a few times, the little sample sprayers actually last me quite long. And then I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I got this with my Sephora points. And honestly, I just, you can never have too many brow pencils. So I decided to get this one. I don't even think I could pick a shade. So I'm hoping this one. Oh, it comes with a spoolie. That's so cute. So it comes with a spoolie on one side. And that looks like it's my shade. But it does come with the product on the other. And this is in the color medium brown. So honestly, I use dark brown, but this might work. So that's what I got from my first Sephora order. I went into the store and I almost got a couple more things. The other thing that I wanted was sold out. So I did get the Olaplex number three bonding hair conditioner thing, hair mask. I don't know what you would call this, but I've been using this for years and I've been using it off and on for years. So I am getting my hair done at the end of April, thank God, because my roots are just crazy right now and I hate having to film with like my hair looking like this, but that's just life. Also, it's super uneven and I'm getting it cut next week as well by a different person. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this after I get my hair you know, dealt with. So this used to be like $38. It's up to 41, but with the 20%, it goes back down to 38. So it is super pricey for this little tiny bottle. This is only 100 mil, but this one does last me like probably three to four uses. So that is that. The last couple things are two lipsticks and these are by MAC. So they are available at Sephora. Did I get them at Sephora? No. Why are they in this haul? Because they're available at Sephora. You could potentially get them with the um, discount, but the first one I got was Creme in Your Coffee, and these two I got with Back to Max, actually. So the Back to Max program actually stopped last month, which is super annoying because Back to Max has been around ever since I started shopping at Mac, ever since like, I got my first lip gloss there at 13 and they've always had the back to Mac program. They don't do that anymore apparently, which is really annoying because you know, with how the world is right now, 
getting free lipsticks after finishing six products i mean that seems completely reasonable but anyways regardless of that the first lipstick i got was creme in your coffee it looks like this it is a kind of like a mauve like a mauve dark nude terracotta color i've wanted this one for quite a while and I just, I wanted to get it for free with the back-to-back -back program. That's really it. And then the next one is Brave. I forgot about this color. Honestly, like I forgot all about it, but I saw it in the store and I'm like, that is really beautiful. It does look similar to what I'm wearing right now today, which is Mare. So it does look similar to that. This one is just a little bit lighter. So that is all I got. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of like a smaller haul. It wasn't too crazy, but I don't go too crazy at Sephora anymore, to be honest. I'm not like I was back like five years ago. I just mostly try to buy things that I'm actually going to use. And the perfume definitely was not necessary, but I decided to get it anyways, and I'm very excited to continue trying it out and to film a full review on that for you guys. So that is all for this video. I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!